This is lesson 8.1, Geometric Mean. Your objectives are to find the geometric mean between two numbers and to solve problems involving relationships between parts of a right triangle and the altitude to its hypotenuse. The geometric mean between two numbers is the positive square root of their product. In other words, multiply the numbers and take the square root, and that's the geometric mean. So you can use the formula x equals the square root of a times b. a and b are the two numbers that you're taking the geometric mean of, and x will be the geometric mean. Find the geometric mean between each pair of numbers. Number 1, 4 and 4. We'll use the formula. The geometric mean equals the square root of a times b. So it'll be the square root of 4 times 4, which is the square root of 16, which is 4. Multiply the numbers and take the square root. Number 3, 6 and 9. Well, substitute into the formula. x equals the square root of 6 times 9, which is the square root of 54. Round to the nearest tenth, and x is about 7.3. To find the geometric mean, multiply the numbers and take the square root. Geometric means in right triangles. In the diagram, triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADB, which is similar to triangle BDC. An altitude drawn to the hypotenuse of a right triangle forms two right triangles. The two triangles are similar, and each is similar to the original triangle. To show that the triangles are similar, let's first label the segments. The altitude we'll call x, and the two legs will be y and z. For the hypotenuse, the piece on the left is a, the piece on the right is b, and the whole hypotenuse will be c. Consider the small triangle on the left and the big triangle. To show that those are similar, we can show that since angle a is in the small triangle, and it's in the big triangle, and it's congruent to itself. That gives us one pair of congruent angles. Also, since the big triangle has a right angle, and the triangle on the left has a right angle, that's another pair of congruent angles. So these triangles are similar because of AA similarity. Because they're similar, then the side lengths are proportional. You can use the same logic to show that the triangle on the right is similar as well. Now let's make proportions. Consider the triangle on the left, which we will color light blue, and the triangle on the right, which will be light green. If you take the short leg on the left triangle, which is A, that corresponds with the short leg on the right triangle, which is X. And make that equal to, back to the left triangle, the long leg is X, and on the right triangle, the long leg is B. The sides are proportional there. We have short leg over short leg equals long leg over long leg, and it's organized. To solve a proportion, we can cross multiply. x times x, which is x squared, equals a times b. And to solve for x, square root each side, so x will be the square root of a times b. And that will be the first of our formulas. 
the altitude is the geometric mean of the two parts of the hypotenuse. That one's easy to remember because the altitude splits up the hypotenuse into those two parts, so use those two parts. The same way that we showed the proportional sides for the first formula, you can use the same logic to get the other two formulas. And those two formulas are For the legs, the leg on the left is y, and it uses the part of the hypotenuse on that side, which is a, and the whole hypotenuse c. z is a mirror image of that. z is the other leg. It uses the part of the hypotenuse on z's side which is B, and the whole hypotenuse C. So the altitude is the geometric mean of the two parts of the hypotenuse, and the legs are the geometric mean of the part of the hypotenuse on their side and the whole hypotenuse. Find X, Y, and Z to the nearest tenth. Number two, here we have a right triangle with the altitude drawn to the hypotenuse, and we know the lengths of the two parts of the hypotenuse. Start with x. x is the altitude. The altitude is the geometric mean of the two parts of the hypotenuse. So x will be the square root of 2 times 5. which is about 3.2. For y, y is one of the legs. The leg uses the part of the hypotenuse on the same side as y, that will be the 2, and the whole hypotenuse, which will be 7. So y is approximately 3.7. For z, z is the other leg, and the leg uses the part of the hypotenuse on that side, the 5, and the whole hypotenuse, 7. So z is the geometric mean of 5 and 7. which is about 5.9. So match these up, whether you're using the altitude or one of the legs. Make sure you use the correct formula. Number six, we have a right triangle with the altitude drawn to the hypotenuse. And here the variables are for the legs and the altitude. I have one part of the hypotenuse and the whole hypotenuse. The other part of the hypotenuse would have to be 4, since 2 plus 4 gives you the whole thing 6. Let's find x. x is a leg. The leg uses the part of the hypotenuse on that side and the whole hypotenuse. So x is the square root of the part 2 times the whole thing 6 which is about 3.5. Y is the altitude. The altitude uses the two parts of the hypotenuse. So Y is equal to the square root of one part 2 times the other part 4, which is about 2.8. Z is the other leg. The leg uses the part of the hypotenuse on that side and the whole thing. So Z is the square root of the part 4 times the whole thing 6, which is about 4.5.
4.9. So use the altitude formula for the altitudes and the leg formula for the legs.